Well, Nathan, welcome to Brentford and Brentford B. First of all, how pleased are you to join? I'm um, over the moon to get started. It's been a long time coming and I just wait, can't wait till July the 2nd. Can you tell us a bit about how the, the move came about? Uh, it's been kind of been in the works for, I would say, just, just under a year. Just kind of hoping to push this deal forward and it's finally gone through and I can't be more delighted. What is it about this place that makes you think it's the best place for you now in your next step to develop and push on in your career? Just from looking at all the players that have come through here, you're talking about Ivan Tony, you're talking about Neil Marpay, you're talking about Saeed Benarama, Oli Watkins, you can clearly see that whatever's happening at Brentford is working and it's going very well. And in the Premier League, players are getting starstruck by them and it's the only route I can see to get me to the next step. Obviously with the B team as well, it's kind of all about that pathway and progression into the first team. I guess like you'll look at the, the recent the recent seasons of B team players getting into that first team, is that something that, that made you really think that yeah this this is for me? Yeah, a hundred percent because I'm a man that likes to see what I'm coming into and see whether it works or it doesn't work. And as I've just said that you can tell that this program and this system works and it works very well and it produces top talent and I'm hoping that I'm next. You spent time with uh, like Crystal Palace, Chelsea as a youngster before going on to Rangers. What were your times like at, at Palace and Chelsea, first of all? Uh, I couldn't enjoy them anymore. I've met great people al along the way and I've just, just seen them as a stepping stone to where I want to be and just neutralising myself as an all-round player. I went from Palace to Chelsea and I went from Chelsea to Rangers just to completely neutralise myself into being the best that I can be, taking all different types of lessons from all different types of coaches and now I've seen it, this project, I believe this can take me to the final step. You've been around some, obviously, some, some really big clubs. Just on your time at Rangers, how much did you enjoy that period up in Scotland? I, I love my time in Scotland. I, the fans were unbelievable, the people around were unbelievable. I just, in general, Glasgow is a home away from home. So I really enjoyed the people that I met along the way. They're so friendly, they're so nice. They always stick to me from any time I look back into my playing, playing career. Obviously, you're, you're a forward player. What, what sort of striker are you? Kind of, what's your kind of style of play? My style of play is just getting in behind, being aggressive, finishing, being a rat around the box kind of movement. I'm just an all attacking forward that likes to get in behind like to challenge defenders, get in the box and ultimately score goals. How much are you looking forward to working with the likes of Neil McFarlane and the staff here? Oh, I've heard so much about, about Neil and it just makes me more and more excited step by step as we go on because like I said about the players that have come through the past, they, they've, Neil has matured them and made them into what they are so I hope I'm next. One of the big things about Brentford B is the, the fixtures uh, obviously very, very different from tr traditional youth setups. Is that kind of what, what made you want to come because you get that whole variety in terms of you playing against men's sides, National League sides, but you're also coming up against some, some under 23 top teams like Chelsea's, Arsenal's? 100%. It's all, about, um, it's all about just progressing and challenging yourself. I mean, the fact that everyone can play a nice type of football that you'd like to hope against Chelsea, just challenging yourselves. But when you talk about playing against national team, uh, the adversity that you're going to face, not everything's going to be so pretty, not everything's going to go your way. It's just how you deal with that. And then when you come later on in your career, you can think back to the times that, oh, I've played against the nice type of football and I've played against the, so to speak, dirty type of football that you, you're not very natural to. But, so you've just got to get in a, to the thick of it and go from there. Obviously coming in on a three-year deal as well, does that kind of give you, you confidence and to know that this is the place I'm going to be for the next three years and I can really just, just crack on with my career? Oh, 100%. I feel like that Brentford have just uh, put their trust in me, their faith in me, to give me that length of contract. So it's down to me now to prove why they've given me that and that's all I'm focused on doing.